I want to know where you were at during the 1992 Peace Trees. Um, well, the first place I was at is the Pet Boys, which you guys will never get to go to again. It's now Taco Bell on 28th and Crenshaw. I was the first. I was still skinny at the time, so I was the first one through that. Um, they pulled the, the gate open, and I got in there and ran to the back, opened up the back. So we getting tires and batteries and all that, right? And then some Latino brothers came in and started fires. We trying to get the battery, so we we dealing with low riders. I'm I'm a tow truck driver at the time, so I'm trying to get all the tires. I want to have all the tires possible. And these dudes came in there and set them up on fire. And then they tore down <laughs> they tore down the Pet Boys, and now they moved Taco Bell from down the street down there. So that was uh, we went also. You talking about the peach tree? I'm talking about trying to make money. We tried to get that uh, Bank of America right there. I had a uh, monster had a truck. We called it Sanford and Son, right? So I got the Sanford Son truck. I left everybody at home because they were still asleep. And we connected the hooks to the to the um, the ATM, and as I'm pulling on it, just pulled the face off. But Crips and Bloods come from everywhere. When I'm looking, I see the blue strings and the blue rag. And I'm like, wait, hold on. And they're like, man, we in this together, man. We together on this. And I was like, all right, just make sure I'm driving. So if the money come out, y'all gotta make sure y'all put something to the side for me. This ain't just for y'all. So, man, it was a, it was a wonderful uh, two three weeks. So you participated in the riots? Oh, without a doubt, man. Did you participate in the afterwards, the after effects, the peace treaty? Yeah, so I was in the Imperial Courts when the police came around south. I was in the Jordan Downs when um, they was playing the, the music and all the girls go crazy. Um, I, I actually, I'm with Trey from 30s, from Harlem, and we walked to the Nickerson Gardens. And a matter of fact, me, Trey, and Big Sleep from 60s was on Manchester and Hoover. And I'm looking around like, Trey is cool, but sleep, I don't want to be standing here with you on Manchester and Hoover. You know what I mean? Uh, when he had that black Thunderbird, I was like, man, we need to get up out of here. So uh, he wasn't nervous at all, but me and Trey ended up going to the Nickersons that night. And we got to the Nickersons, big old buff dude um, said, where y'all from? I said, I'm from Rolling 20 Bloods. And Trey said, I'm from Harlem Crip. So he looked at us and he said, well, he said, I'm Hunter Hank. I'm buying Hunter Hank, so y'all got any problems in there, get at me. I'll, you know, y'all cool. And it was just, a, man, it was a wonderful, you know, like I say, however long it lasted, um, lasted about three weeks for me. Were there any official sit downs or communications between the 20s and 30s in 1992? No. Or it was just in the cloud of the, of the, of the, of the peace treaty? It was, just... it was in the cloud of the peace treaty. I seen a lot of young dudes that was from 30s. Going up to, uh, they were going to Hollywood because that's the only uh, place they can go to get the khakis, the fresh bandana, and all that. So now they got Harlem everything on there, and I didn't, I didn't want to be around that. You know what I mean? Like it was now's the time to bang. People started banging because it was a peace treaty, but I didn't want to be around that. You know what I mean? But, um, but for the dudes who were older, dudes who I know been through shit, um, it was a cool time for us. Um, yeah, it was uh, it, it was cool, man. I, I appreciated having that that breath of fresh air for two three weeks. You know, I was in Inglewood too on uh, Manchester and Crenshaw. We out there one night. It's nothing but bloods. When uh, Mike Conception came up, him and a Carlo, different Carlos of Crips, they was caravanning. And um, said one of the homies from family said, "Man, we ain't gonna ruin it for y'all, but this is for us. This ain't for y'all." You know, we ain't we ain't tripping on y'all. We ain't coming after y'all. We ain't shooting. And then I seen some dudes from Denver Lanes and my homies. Those dude I was really close with. He was hitting up on the wall, disrespecting the peace treaty and all that. But I said I couldn't go against him. I wasn't really intervention then. I was like, man, that's him. That's his thing. How, how long did that 1992 peace treaty last? Well, for the average neighborhood, it was like maybe about a month, month and a half. You know, um, it's been said that law enforcement went over in the Peblos and uh, at the liquor store right at the corner of 52nd, gave about five or six face shots to somebody, to some dude, and then they blaming it on the other side. You know, everybody say, man, the way they shot, you know, it was law enforcement because, you know, the average dude, man, shoot six times, you know, three of them going to miss. You know, he going to shoot a dude in the foot and the hand and get a lucky one to the chest or the neck. But... Um, but they say all oh, these were face shots where you couldn't even recognize a dude. So we started thinking law enforcement was behind it, man, doing that. Um, you, you don't think the, uh, 
You don't think the, the B Street lasts a little bit longer in Watts between the projects? Oh, yeah, no. Between uh, Nickerson's and the Bounty Hunters, that lasts about six, seven years. Yeah, they, they, but not not with the Imperial Courts. You know, not them, not the PJs. The PJs only lasted about a month or two. But um, the, the Nickerson's and the, and the Jordan Downs, they stayed together at least six years. So by 1993, LA's back to normal. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I'm <laughs> sorry.